Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Limited Edition Nutcracker set. This is the uh, 2017 holiday set that was given away free at the LEGO store or LEGO shop at home if you met a qualified um, amount of purchases. So I was able to buy a few things, um, I think it was around Black Friday, and qualify to get this set for free. So I, I haven't missed out on one of these in, I think since they started doing the holiday ones. Now, I had multiples of some of them and others, I, I just got one of them. They're actually pretty basic sets. There's, not, there's really nothing in here that's um, a unique part or anything. So I remember I had a, an additional one of the little elves, um, the Santa's elves set, and I gave that away on a uh, contest I did on my other channel. So anyway, let's go ahead and bust this open, get right into it. That's one of the little finger punch things, which is not working. So I'll revert to my style of just ripping the box open. All right, so there's everything. That's what we have in here. We have a pretty decent size instruction book and then a good amount of parts and they're unnumbered bags let's just dump them all out oh we got one round roll it away from me So obviously no minifigures. So the first thing we're gonna do is build the little stand that the nutcracker is gonna be on. Starts with these black pieces. We have two two by four blue bricks. It's more or less just infill bricks because it's gonna get covered up. And we just surround the rest of it with the one by ones and the palisade bricks. Last one there. So we have three of these two by six bricks. So we used a six by six on the bottom, but we're putting three of the two by sixes on top for some reason. Now reduce some tiles. Two more tiles and some jumper tiles. All right, so there's the base, pretty basic. So next is the legs and they're gonna be two identical legs. Starting with these Technic axles. Two round bricks, a plate. Green piece. Oops. Drop that piece and then hit a pile of parts and they went all flying everywhere. All right, I'm just gonna make a mess with everything. Move some of this around. That makes one leg. Slope, where you at slope, there you are. And that makes our second leg. So these will attach to the jumper plates. Put a two by three green, a couple of these plates. Ah. 
making a mess here. Everything's slipping out of my hands. I'm recording this kind of late at night. I've had a long weekend and I uh, needed something to kind of relax a little bit and tell you what, this isn't helping. I keep, <laughs> if I keep dropping stuff, it's not very relaxing. It's kind of uh, freeing my mind, I guess. Kind of a stress relief until you get stressed from stuff falling everywhere. Alright, so this is kind of interesting. We got these little ink temps. Okay, so we I noticed this in a Lego City set we did um, a couple days ago where we used a bar, uh, a plate with a bar. In this, this case, we're using the, the black, um, what I call the inkwell piece. And what it's going to do is that little bar sticking up is actually going to go right in the middle of this 1x5 Technic plate. And it's kind of just going to hold that Technic plate in place. This is kind of an interesting technique, but I guess it works. And then this piece will go right there. So it's kind of interesting. The, the width of this nutcracker is actually five studs wide. So we have a single stud in between the, the legs here, and then each leg is two studs, so we have to make up that single stud in the middle. And they don't make a 1x5 plate, they make this 1x5 Technic plate, which has an axle hole right in the middle. So you have two studs, axle hole, two studs. So it's kind of, they're, they're, they're making do with the parts they have, and that's kind of one of the key parts about building with LEGO, especially when you're just free building something on your own you don't have necessarily have access to every single part available so you have to pretty much build with the parts that you own and you have to make um i guess concessions or you know make design changes based on the parts that are actually available to you now i wonder how much a one by five plate is is requested by fans that it's something that maybe they will potentially eventually make one but as of right now the either the Technic 1x5 plate or just using a combination of a 1x3 and a 1x2 is more or less just going to have to do all right so you can see that's the kind of the hips and waist area of the nutcracker so we're going to move that to the side. We have the torso piece to make, which is a separate build that we'll put together and then attach, I guess, to the, the leg portion. That piece there. Two more of these one by threes. can find the other one. I'm not seeing it. Make sure everything's out of my bag. Did I knock it down whenever I was bumping stuff? I don't see it. Oh, you know what I did? I accidentally used it here. This was supposed to be black and red. This piece, let's see, got stuff falling apart on me. There, there. So they got the pearlescent gold. It's kind of all the gold color you see in this set is that, that pearlescent gold. Which is not a bad color. It's pretty common with when they want to use gold. It's pretty rare that they use the the glossy kind of shiny gold color. It's pretty common to see this one. All right, 
So I'll move that to the side. We have a little, a lot of these little sub assemblies to make. This looks like the actual nutcracker handle piece. Attach two of these one by one. Technic bricks on here and this will go there. So these one by ones, there's a one by one with a stud on it and then a regular one by one. Just have to make sure you get the right one. This is definitely a set that I could probably build with the parts I have available on hand. But there's kind of something satisfying about knowing that you actually got one of the officially sealed sets from Lego of the seasonal one. Even though I don't keep the box or anything. It's just like, yeah, I got it. I built it. And this is one of the things, so the holiday Lego sets that I build, I usually keep them all together and around the holidays or this time of the year. Um, I will take them out and display them around the house. So I have the complete winter village you will see coming up soon. I do have the new train station. It's the newest winter village set. Um, but all of the other ones that have been released, including the original toy shop, I didn't buy the one that they came out with a couple years ago because it was a re-release of the one that I already have. So the only thing they really changed was some of the parts were updated with newer parts. And I think a minifigure or two was slightly updated. Other than that, it's the same set. So I didn't purchase it. Um, but anyway, the Winter Village is something that I will... I already have the box out and ready to take everything out and display it. And then once I get the, the train station built, I will get the train put up around the winter village somehow. Problem with the train is you really have to have a lot of space to display a continual loop. If you don't have a lot of space then you're just kind of stuck with a little short section of train track, which, you know, similar to, to building Lego, you just kind of make do with what you have. There's no wrong or right way to do it, I guess. So there's our little nutcracker. So a tra traditional nutcracker like this, what you do is you have this lever in the back and you push it up and it creates a little space here and you put some sort of nut in there, you know, like a, a walnut or a hazelnut, a pecan, and then you pull this down and it'll crack the shell of the nut. And then when you pop it back open, the, um, the shell and the actual inside of the nut will fall out and you'll have a, a shell that you can discard and a, a nut that you can consume. So I remember vividly as a kid um, cracking nuts around the holidays. Where I live, pecans are the big nut or pecans. I, I live in the Texas area, so I grew up in the city though, so I don't have a, a traditional Texas accent, as some people would call it. But in the state of Texas, there's a lot of local pecan trees. And the Texans that live out in the country or on the ranch or whatever, they call them pecans. It's hard for me to say that. I, I call them pecans. 
All right, so we have the upper portion built. Pop that right on the waist area, just like that. There's a little crack, cracker, pretty cool. So let's build the head portion. Start with some plates as always. This tan color is representing the flesh of the little soldier that the nutcracker is based on. A lot of little plates on here. So we have a brick with the studs. And then we have a regular brick. And a plate. There's so many small parts, I'm having to carefully look at the instructions to make sure that I get everything. Because if I accidentally miss something, it's gonna kind of be obvious in a step or two. Okay, we have this Technic brick, we'll put that piece in there. We have a stud, that'll go there. This is kind of like building a brick head, except a slightly smaller brick head. Have a two by two. That, and then we have our little eyes. Printed eyes. This is a pretty common part, especially if you're into Mixels. You got a lot of these little printed eye pieces. I know I I got into Mixels a little late, but I bought three or four different series of them, mainly for the parts. I wanted those Mixel joints, and boy, did you get a lot of them. But now I've noticed that a lot of sets have been utilizing those Mixel joints throughout the builds. So I have a bunch of them and then I'm just continually acquiring more and more just from various sets that I've been building. So I'm kind of exceeded my capacity of Mixel joint parts. So we have the basic head part built. We're gonna make the hair pieces. So there's gonna be four of these little pieces. We have a two by three plate. We'll put a double wide baby bow on and then two double wide cheese slopes. And we're making that. Four times. So you can see those just go like that. So this guy has a kind of a creepy mustache with these little horns. And then same with the big eyebrows there kind of out of proportion. I think the eyebrows looked fine until we put these horns on and now they kind of look a little, a little creepy. And the mustache, I think I would have preferred maybe like a little bar or something, not these big horns. I wonder how, I wonder how this would actually look. Maybe the smaller horns. Excuse me as I modify this on the fly. I actually like that better. I think I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to use the small horns for the mustache and then just leave these up here for the eyebrows. I think it looks a little creepy with those big horns. Okay. So we'll take this guy. Pop it on the top there. 
like that a lot better than what it came with. You can see this is what it looks like on the box. That big mustache and the big bushy eyebrows versus what I've got on here. I don't know. Maybe I'll switch it back. Either way, it's kind of weird. All right, so last thing we have is the hat piece, which consists of some four by four round pieces, that and a golden ice cream cone. This will go right there. And that's it. That completes our nutcracker build. So of all of the, um, I guess, limited edition holiday sets that we've gotten. So last year it was the snow globe. I really, really liked that one. I would say this one is kind of up there with uh, one of the really cool ones. Um, but I think the snow globe from last year is probably my favorite so far. So you tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Love to hear what you guys think of this set. Do you have this one yet? If you don't, you may have some of these parts. I will say this little Technic connector in the pearlescent gold is not a common piece because I know I, I built a lot of Technic sets and I can't recall ever seeing that in the pearl gold. So that may be the only one that uh, may be hard to find, but I think you could switch it out with the black one. The black one is common. I think it'll look just fine with that one. So you may be able to build this with some parts you already own. So, or, or you know, free build it, kind of change some stuff, kind of like what I did. I changed the mustache a little bit. But anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks again. Check out the links I have down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do these build videos pretty much every day. There may be one or two days out of the year that I miss one, but um, I do try to make sure I have something new and fresh for you every single day. So we will see you in the next one.